Welcome back to Lewis Field in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Big 12 football. The Oklahoma State Cowboys and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Bill Land, Gary Reasons, and Zach Klein with you. Weather is a story today with 55 degrees, and it's going to drop some. Humidity at 96%. Nebraska, 1-1 one one in the league. A 24-13 winner over Missouri last week. That one in Lincoln. As the Huskers come out here, let's go down now to Zach Klein on the field. All right, Coach, thank you very much for your time. Your offense really starting to gel the last couple of weeks, averaging 30 points and almost 500 yards of total offense. The weather today could kick up, possible rain, strong winds. I think that could possibly slow down your momentum of your offense. Well, uh, we'll see. You know, the thing about our offense, I think we can adapt to whatever the weather gives us. Uh, right now, we're running the ball fairly well. We want to continue to do that, get the ball some to our quarterback, get our eye backs, make sure that they have a good game, and then build off of that. So, thank, appreciate your time. Good luck right, this afternoon. Thank you. Nebraska has won 24 straight games over Oklahoma State. But going back to last year, they have dropped their last four on the road. It's Nebraska and Oklahoma State from Lewis Field in Stillwater, Oklahoma. And the kickoff of the Dr. Pepper Big 12 football game of the week is next. Is the series dominated by Nebraska. Oklahoma State won the first two and hadn't seen daylight since. Nebraska leading the all-time series. The first meeting in Stillwater since 1995. The last time it was a home game was 98, and they moved it to Kansas City at Arrowhead, and Oklahoma State almost pulled off the upset on that particular day. Nebraska will be kicking off here to the Oklahoma State Cowboys and Chris Massey, one of the top return men in the country, as an Oklahoman, Brown, tees it up for Nebraska. Josh is a senior from Foyle, Nebraska. Foyle, Oklahoma, I should say. Got a lot of hometown fans here today. And the kickoff with the wind. Massey will down it right there. Those were losses. K-State on the road and Texas on the road as OSU continues its gauntlet-like start to the Big 12. Fields on first and 10, and it is complete. At the 30-yard line, it'll be a first down, and it is third and eight now. And actually, a loss in the play, bigger part. Makes it third and eight at the 34-yard line for Josh Fields and Oklahoma State. We'll play action. Fields, pretty good protection, then got crunched. And the ball is behind the intended receiver. One of the things Les Miles, we talked to him about yesterday, his key, how he'd like to start this game. Hey, get his offense out there, get him producing, and also win one of these uh, these uh, punting situations, punting to Dewan Gross, who's back returning now for Nebraska. Gross, the best in the nation, 22 yards per return. As Cole Farden, averaging 41 yards per punt, boots this one away. Cowboys are there to smother him. At the 36-yard line, a 37-yard punt. No return that time. The pitch and the reverse. At the 45, at the 50, and down to the 40 and into the 35-yard line. And now big defensive stand needed for Oklahoma State. On a third and five, the ball on the 30. Lord, Jamal cornered and brought down a loss on the play. Lord, and that will affect the field goal situation. Kevin Williams came rolling through to make the tackle. Williams, his fourth tackle for loss this year. That would have been a 47-yard field goal, Gary. Now it's a different deal. No doubt about it. Come down the line of scrimmage, the down-the-line option, and watch Kevin Williams just push his way through there and go right through all two defenders and make the play on Lord. He has nowhere to go. Kevin Williams is playing excellent for that Cowboy defense up front. Kyle Larson comes on for the punt. He stands right at midfield. Cowboys with no one deep. And Larson puts it out of the end zone. Uh, we'd enjoy uh, a rainy day, uh, but not necessarily a windy day. We intend to throw the football, uh, and if, if it's uh, wet and, uh, and windy, that'll, that'll curtail our plans. Well, you got one for two, Les, and they hand it off on first down. Tatum Bell, 30, 40, and Bell across midfield into Husker territory. Pat Ricketts, the junior from Omaha, Nebraska, made the tackle. Born today, three carries, 23 yards. We 
We've seen a little bit of everything from Nebraska already. Had LaFour on the end around for a 29-yard scamper. Lord cuts it right back up the field. Is stopped just shy of the 50. And it's going to be a third and long coming up as Williams made the tackle. This goes back to last year where they dropped it. They were blown out by Colorado and then, of course, in the BCS title game, hammered by Miami. So they've lost their last four away from Lincoln. And Lord, his ankle grabbed and brought down. No whistle. His knee did not touch. He picks up a yard or two. Greg Richmond is the one that had him in the, nearly in the grasp. Massey made the tackle, and Nebraska will have to punt it away. Second and ten for the 25. Bell lined up in the backfield. Fields. Complete. Woods. 40. 42 yard line. Rashawn Woods, his first reception of the day. Philip Bland makes the tackle. Woods with 47 receptions now, averaging over seven and a half grabs per contest. Well, we talked about coming out shooting. That's what they do here. Get it to Rashawn Woods on the outside. Hey, he's a threat. They press him off, press it up tight on him. He have to, they have to give room to him because he's a big play receiver. Maybe in Washington, the young freshman cornerback has the duty this time. He slips out there as I talked about when. Woods makes a cut. He breaks away and can't keep up with him. First and ten at the 43. Morency back in the lineup. Tugging along for a yard or two to the 45-yard line where Josh Bullock makes the tackle. Josh and his twin brother Daniel, both in the secondary for Nebraska. I think Les Miles has got to be pleased here so far in this football game. Talked about, you know... Punted back and forth a couple of times, staying in this football game. Your defense is playing well. Now your offense is moving almost up to the midfield spot here. I would expect the Cowboys to start taking a shot down the field. First quarter winding down in fields. Incomplete, trying to go to the tight end, Bajima. Third and eight. Fields. Got a man complete. Woods at the 30. Washington covering on the play the best he could. Great throw, great reception. Well, when you run the ball between the tackles, you have to honor that inside. Rashawn Woods, benefit of a play-action faker, gets inside on Washington, who has him man-to-man, just goes up. They throw the ball up on purpose to Rashawn Woods up high because of his athleticism. To keep our team in position, to execute its game plan, stretch the game into the fourth quarter to have a shot to win there. Fields to throw it here and complete again to Woods. You see those basketball players that get on a little run where they hit one three, hit another, and maybe a steal and a dunk. Well, I get the feeling it's like that way with Woods. If he gets in a little groove, he's kind of like a well-oiled running back. Oklahoma State now. The wind at its back. Will go for the field goal. And interesting, those passes to Woods, you see the payoff as they were able to pass into the wind, Gary, but it set them up here to still have a shot, even though they didn't get the first down, at least getting three points. Yeah, it's kind of a north northeasterly wind that's going from the right to the left across the screen as you're looking at it today. They look at the number for Phillips on the, on the season. As long as 46, this is 45, should be able to make this kick. So Phillips sets up for the 45 yarder. Good snap. And it is good. And as Missouri jumped out on Nebraska last week, Oklahoma State does here today. The Cowboys with a 45-yard field goal make it a 3 to nothing game. 53-yard punt, but Gary, did he outkick his coverage on the 17-yard return? It was not a very high punt. It came down, and Dewan Gross picked up a couple of blocks right there to get him started, giving the Huskers good field position. First and 10, and Gross goes deep and completes it inside the 10-yard line as Elbert Craig made the touchdown-saving tackle on Harrion. Matt Harrion, a freshman from Pierce, Nebraska, with the big reception. Well, when you go man-to-man coverage on the outside and your linebackers are asked to cover inside, Matt Harrion's down here. He's going to work down to the middle of the field. Good play-action fake that time. Quarterback does take a shot after he throws it. An excellent throw and a good, good grab. Well, Frank Stolich, who is his own offensive coordinator, said he's been impressed with the play of his tight ends and he wanted to get Harrion in the, the action. And how today? 
is on the ground. This one, Darren Diedrich keeps it. Williams makes the tackle. Well, this is all set up by the punt return. We talked about Dewan Gross doing that time in and time out here for this Nebraska team. Then you take a big shot. A lot of te teams will do that on the 45-yard line, 50-yard line in. Take a big play, and that's what Frank Solich does. Throws the ball down there to a wide receiver and makes a big play. First, or the second, and goal from the six-yard line. On the option, Lord looking for a hole and then hit hard near the two-yard line. Williams there to lead the way for the Cowboys. Well, this is one play that I think the quarterback really should pitch this ball. He goes down the line of scrimmage. He has all three backs out in front of him. Watch him here. They're all leading. You're going to see Jamal Lord. He's going to turn the ball up and come in here. All three backs are ready to lead. Go ahead and pitch it right now. you got two lead blockers. He'll take care of the defense. And he takes it inside. That's one he really should get back to his detail. Run. It'll make it third and goal at the two. Cowboy crowd making as much racket as they can. Diedrich dances to the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. Nice cut. That was an excellent cut in the backfield, Bill. And Diedrich gets his 23rd career touchdown. Senior out of Ontario, Canada. And the Huskers take the lead, 6-3. to three. Chance to tack on another one here with a point after. And Josh Brown. He's 26 of 26 on the year, make it 27-27. In case they one and one going into a battle with Longhorns. Second and ten, and gain a four on that play. Nebraska, Diedrich's touchdown, its lone score with a PAT by Brown, and for Oklahoma State, it's been Phillips in the 45-yard field goal that gave OSU the lead, and that'll be the end of the first half, and Oklahoma State down four to Nebraska, seven to three, halftime on Fox Sports Night of Big 12 football. We'll join Bill Jones for the Sonic Halftime Report in just a moment.